Mumbai, India, home to over 22 million residents and growing. Twice the population of New York City, Mumbai is one of the world's most densely populated megacities. Mumbai can't grow um, in many places. They have to grow vertically because they are waterlogged. And um, the dense population is, is a real problem. They're, they're continuously growing. They have nowhere to grow. So it gets denser and denser, more and more people on on a very tight spot of land. The population in India is nowhere different than anywhere else in the world. So everybody has mobile phones, tele uh, television, washing machines, etc. So for all this dense population, you need to supply electricity where the people need it. If a country has to grow, then you need to have a very stable power supply. So when you have more load density, you have less space more population in that area and uh, it means you need to have a solution which is very safe. So this is one of the major issues in the world today, to reliably, safely power the grid. Uh, for the last hundred years uh, in India, mineral oil has been used as the fluid of choice for transformers, um, but it's very, very inefficient. Uh, you cannot uh, reliably uh, sustain the grid going forward, whether it be places like Mumbai, India, or New York City in the U.S. So our customers around the world use FR3 instead of mineral oil in their transformers for a variety of reasons. Uh, not only is it more environmentally friendly and has higher fire safety, uh, but it also allows them to um, optimize their transformers and the grid. They can make smaller transformers or use smaller transformers and put the same energy through those transformers. They can make the same size transformers and put more energy through those transformers. And they can do this reliably without sacrificing the reliability of the grid. Uh, this is really important as, as the energy demands grow on the grid uh, for them to be able to have these flexibility, this flexibility uh, in order to meet those demands on their grid. So Cargill partnered with one of the largest utilities in India, Tata Power in Mumbai, uh, to use our natural ester FR3 in place of mineral oil for their transformers. Uh, and this is going to transform the way that Tata delivers power and energy to Mumbai in the future. When Tata started to learn about these kind of products, they immediately knew this would be the right solution for their, their set of problems. FR3 provides to India the right set of solutions. You've got an environmentally sound product, it's biodegradable, it's renewable, it's sustainable, it is fire safe, and it provides the ability to, to give more capacity from the same kit, from the same transformer than you traditionally have. So you give more power in a smaller piece of transformer. So our collaboration with Tata Power and their OEM resulted in a very unique solution that allowed them to reliably and safely put more power through a smaller transformer. Uh, in today's mega cities, where area is very, very constrained, uh, this is very important. What we have there is a very compact uh, substation, very compact transformers. That was the biggest challenge, space. And uh, with the use of natural esters, that is FR3, uh, it's helping us reduce space, makes it more compact, makes it more safe, and of course environmentally friendly. So it meets all our requirements. This is what Tata Power is at the forefront of it. I mean, when we talk about uh, the philosophy of the Tata Power, yeah, they talk about sustainability. Yeah. And for us, I think sustainability is not only about ecology, it is also about safety, and it is also about economy. And overall, it helps them also to deliver power competitively. Very few products offer or gives us the opportunity to establish a new technology in a market. I see Tata Power as a long-term strategic partner rather than a one-time sale. We work together to create a solution which is going to stay here for you for the decades to come. Kilkagi is truly a multinational um, company. It's not saying, well, we, 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 we operate in other countries, but we're actually still American. 
no, we are we are part of the global fabric, and we we demonstrate that. You know, I feel when I come to Kargil, India, I'm still part of Kargil, but I'm also part of India. So it's it's kind of truly being being local, still being global.